Hey Dan, tell me, and welcome back to another YouTube video. Um, um, before I press record, my best friends, two of my best friends, I don't know if they want me to say the name, so I won't just yet, um, picked a lot of my makeup. Now, some of my makeup you can't really pick because I have, um, I always use that one, not I only have one of them, so you know. Um, but I did pick the majority, like the lashes, the eyeshadow, the highlight, the lipstick, and... You know, but anyway, we're gonna get straight to this video. I am going to do my brows off camera and then I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so now that the brows are done, one brow is a little bit higher than the other. And like, as you can see, because this brow comes down here, whereas this one comes down to here. So that ain't a problem for me because I've never actually got my brows the same shape before. If you're wondering what products I used, I did use the Revolution Pro brow pomade in the shade um medium brown and i also use this has been discontinued but i still have it the js7 um spoolie eyebrow brush now this um styler brush has been discontinued but not the whole brush they still have these but it's just in a flat barbie pink um style also i did buy some of these now these were just some cheap brushes that i can use for my eyebrows because I'm not spending a lot of money on my eyebrows yet, so I just bought some cheap brushes um, to blend out the concealer. <clears throat> and we are going to go on to eyes. And now today for the eyes, what I thought, because um, I ain't on YouTube for a while and we missed him. I have not got the um, cremated palette yet. Um, I do absolutely love, love the Bloodlust palette. But I've just not had time to reach for it because I have not had time to, you know, go to palettes and be like, oh, should I have that one or that one? So today we are going to be reaching for the Bloodlust palette. Um, I did, I don't use concealer anymore. The only reason is I'd sit there blending concealer about six to ten minutes and, you know, we'd just get a colour, a darker colour. And it wouldn't blend out. And I'm bringing this up because I'm using the concealer brush to blend out all of the product onto my eye. Um, of course, I will do this eye off camera like I always do. But I do just want to make sure that this is perfect. So... Now, for the past couple of days as well, I have been using glitter. So I will not be using it today. I do like these brows, not even gonna lie here. Um, I'll probably use a glitter in here, but first, what we are going to do is, these are all my brushes, so, might as well move that. Oh my God, oh, pardon me. Um, we're gonna pick up my pink brush because that is the closest color to purple. And we are going to be dipping in to the lightest shade of purple, no, sorry, the second lightest or third shade of purple, hiking, and we are just going to be blending that out um, near our brow bone. And a lot of people do wonder why I take eyeshadow all the way up to my brow bone. Yes, I might not be able to get a lot on, but I do like to give it the most high, um, and I could do like to give it the most defined eyeshadow that I possibly can and whether that's blend, blending it to my brow bone or blending it to my hairline and um, that is a joke by the way before anyone goes oh my god you blend eyeshadow to your hairline no um so look with Jeffrey they are quite pigmented as well that's why I absolutely love Jeffrey because his eyeshadow is just out of this world Right there. Um, I did forget to do some out. I do need to stick down my brows with the Model Co. Um, brow. I love look what it's called in a minute. Um, it's the Clear Brow Gel. I know you can get these things from people like Anastasia Beverly Hills, and you can, I think you can get it from Huda Beauty. I'm not quite sure. Um, I got this in a glossy box. Um, I also do want to thank Glossy Box for sending um, me out my box. Like, of course, I have been. Um, of course, I get my box like everyone else. But, you know, I got 
I don't know what I'm on about to be honest but you know it's some it's some good stuff and it's effort um so we're still just going in with this purple making sure that we're blending it all out And like I want to sort of make like a little shape with it because that's the way I create my cut creases or I normally do half cut crease so you know doesn't matter whether it's a full cut crease or a half cut crease still gotta blend it out like that um now what I would usually do is I would usually get the Jeffree Star um white um <clears throat> eyeshadow in the shade drug lord but because i'm not using um sort of a bright color on the eye it's sort of darkish um it won't stand out as much as if i was to use wet jewel or beauty sleep um so that one's wet jewel oh no that one and that one's beauty sleep um so i do just want to use some of the p louise base um I am, um, yeah, this is going to be the right brush. No, sorry. Um, you want sort of like a big brush. Because I have hooded eyes as well, I do like to take it all the way up to my brow bone. So like my brow bone starts here. Maybe I should not have used such a big brush. Um, a lot of my brushes have glitter on. Okay. Then anyway, we can clean it up with eyeshadow after. Um, so because I do sort of like ten and a half full cut crease into a half cut crease and I'm just going to clean this up while I talk um that is the best way I do my half cut creases um I might do yeah probably I'm gonna do a full cut crease um because you know I don't do very often Um, and then what I'm going to do is, um, I'll use my finger, we're going to go in with Pink Magic and as you can see, as I said, it's not sort of like the light colour I would want, um, but it's a purple colour um, and we're just going to literally, you guys decide how you want to do it, but you can slide it on with the finger or pack it on, I do like to literally pack it on everywhere, like this is why I love this palette because Purples are not that easy to blend, but in this palette, I've found out through using it for quite a while that it's just so nice, and the purple is just so pretty, and that that goes for you know like all the purples and stuff. Let's get that off, and we're gonna go back in with the high king just to clean out the edges. So. You know, there are some hacks in here as well, like I do use a lot of eyeshadow to clean out the edges. So we can have like a crisp edge on the cut crease. Sometimes it works for me, sometimes it doesn't. Okay guys, I am going to do the other eye off camera, so I will be back. Okay, so guys, I also did use the Huda Beauty um, eyeliner. Not, yeah, um... This was the one for the waterline, which I really do like. I do need to work on my winged liner. Um, this wasn't, this is retails for £18. So I did get it in my glossy box. So um, yeah, that is something really nice to be treated with in quarantine. So thank you so much, glossy box, for putting that in there. Next, of course, is our foundation. But before foundation, I will be putting this on. We need to leave this for about two, three minutes to set. So there is a couple of things I want to be talking about. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is Dando's Makeup XOXO. You will not know 
what I'm talking about next. So for any updates or stuff, follow me on Instagram and I will give you a little insight of what's happening. Um, sometime this year, I will be doing a business and it is a lash business. Um, I know I said I won't be saying for a while. Don't worry, no one forced me to say it. No one leaked it. I did have to ask who will buy them and how much. So I've worked out a price for the lashes. The lashes that I'm going to buy are going to be good quality. You know me, guys. I won't, you know, rip anyone off or anything. Um, But the lashes I buy are going to be good quality. And, um, you know, I'll have about 30 to 40 uses. Um, now, with <clears throat> these lashes, depends what style you want. It will range anywhere from 5 to £12.50 with £2 postage. Depends where you live. If you live in the UK or, you know, England, probably be 2 £3. If you live overseas, I will have to go to the post office and work it out myself. But, um... You know, um, <clears throat> pardon me, you know, I'm really excited because this is something I've been working on for a while and it's something I've been looking into for a while and it is just a dream come true because of all this happening and, <coughs> pardon me, and, um, a lot going on in the world right now globally and this pandemic it it just i was getting emotional earlier now don't I get emotional again because i know my eyeshadow and um line will come off but um because of this pandemic a lot of stuff is happening and you know there's like i've been getting a lot of orders later than i usually would um so the person I'm working with with my lashes, they're a manufacturer. Um, if I said that right, manufacturer, yeah. Um, and they have are going to help me quite a lot. Um, I do know quite a bit about working a business. So, you know, a couple of my uncles and my great great granddad, so my nan's granddad, did have a business before. So, it's not like I don't know what I'm doing, because I do. Um, but, you know, there's probably some little bits I could still learn. You know, we all just don't know everything. Like, you know, no matter how many years you've been doing something, there's still shit you can learn. You know, whether that's you've been doing something for 10 years, 3 years, 15 years or 24 years. There is still stuff you can learn. Like, I know I need to learn to find a better foundation shade. This one is a bit dark, but of course we're going to be blending it down to my neck. Yes, I have had a hair caught. One of my neighbours done it for me. People need to be quiet about social distancing. Because, you know, she's a generous woman. She decided to do my hair. Yes, I did pay her. So, you know, it's all good some reason this ain't going down um and you know with makeup as well there's still a lot i need to learn and it's not going to be easy and if you do follow me on my instagram and you have just came to my youtube Welcome to my YouTube channel, or if you follow me on TikTok, or you know, Snapchat. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I just feel like I'm getting back on track and everything now. I just don't want anything to happen to ruin this again. We're not ruining it, but, you know, make me slow down once again and, you know. Um, now, to do my neck, I do put this on the brush just because I don't know how much I'm putting on my neck. And, you know, you, it'll go very patchy if you do it wrong. Hmm. 
<laughs> oh god it's just gone all over me trousers where's my wipe from past experiences yes it is hard to get foundation stains out of your clothes I liked having that big mirror, but I broke it, didn't I? I don't need to get an actual mirror. I also don't need to get my setting spray when I have done this. Hmm, now it's on my desk. No, sis. No. Ew. Why is there a hair on my nose? If it does get patchy on my neck, that's nothing to worry about. It can be sorted. Because <sighs> this is the um, this is the Morphe brush in M four three nine. Of course, as you can see, this is their foundation brush. It is £18 or $18, depending where you live, depending on your currency. And now what I'm going to do is go in with a wet beauty blender. Just make sure it's all blended out nice and evenly. You know, I do have some spots because I am doing the 100 day makeup challenge on Instagram. Nice. <clears throat> um, next, so we've used you, we've used you. Um, next is contour. Well, contour, bronzer, whatever you want to call it. I used a powdered one. Um, now, I did use to go all the way up to my forehead and everything, but this palette is falling to bits, bit by bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get this sort of angled brush. This is the um, Ruby Chocolate Palette in the I Heart Revolution collection. This is a limited edition. You can't get this anymore. Dip it in a few times. Tap it twice. Then you're going to get a beauty blender. Blend it out. I don't like harsh contour, so... Just come across as harsh at first, then when you get your beauty blender. I don't like to be showing in your guys' eyes as well. I am going to beard and everything else and I don't like it. Um, I don't think I've got any blush, so there'll be no blush today. And you know... <clears throat> Need to actually, um. Guys, before anyone says this is loose powder, it is not flour. Because I've been having a lot of people say, Why do you put flour on your face? It's not flour. Just 
don't want to make it look <sighs> too cakey. There'd be a lot of people in the comments saying, too late for that one, bitch. Get your hopes so fast. I don't like to leave it off for too long because it does whiten. Now we are going to get the brush, the JS2. I did have to stick it back together. Like I said, it doesn't come in this style of brush anymore. Um, they are discontinued, but there is still brushes out there that is like this. That is Jeffree Star's. Like I did say earlier, it does come in the Barbie pink one as a face collection. Um, so, yeah. There's an eye collection and a face collection. Now, I don't conceal here, so I don't put powder there. As this is my go-to sponge, I don't want powder on it. And yes, I have caught the sun. I've definitely got a tan. <laughs> and maybe my tan line's a bit embarrassing at the moment, but you know, I do need to go out soon and get a tan further up. So, yeah. Um... I don't think this is a fat a flimmy brush, but you know. Um, next, um, highlighter. Yeah, highlight. Um, I have decided I'm not going to be doing mascara because it gets everywhere, and I'm not a fan of that, to be honest. Um, <clears throat> then there's lashes. So, um, my best friend Rihanna, if you do go back quite a while, last year to Christmas time, bought me gave me this bought it me um in a christmas swap box we done it was very fun because i didn't know what i was getting and she didn't know what she was getting and i have not used this yet i do want to use it as a highlighter just to, oh wow no that is some good shit this will be my next go-to highlighter oh no wow That just let me get my phone and I will use flash. Yes. Oh my god, guys, I'm in love with this highlighter. Oh my god. We are not nose, I love her. But you know. This Okay, so, um, where's, it takes me ages to find a brush that I want. What we're going to do, we're going to go also into our eyeshadow and put some, just there. that ain't white in the eyeshadow. there's a lot of eyeshadow I do use as highlighter so who can blame me when it looks this stunning Like, that is quite a few new products I've used today. Okay, guys, I am going to go and throw on some lashes, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so we are here with the lashes in the shade Rouge Rooks. Rocks, are you 
R-O-U-X from Pound Lashes. They do some amazing lashes. Um, now, we are nearly out of this shade, unfortunately. But, you know, I'm going to use every single bit of it. Now to add some definition, I am going to add highlighter, not highlighter, um, gloss um, in the shade Spank Me by Jeffree Star. Um, I'm not going to add it with the applicator because it will probably get messy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that back in there. going to be best to add it with the applicator <laughs> um i literally love jeff star by the way this is in the shade leo i think it was from his um star sign collection i think he had one i don't know So it gives you like that wet lip. So yeah. So this is the look. Thank you guys so so much for watching this video if you did enjoy this video please get a huge thumbs up if you did not enjoy this video what are you still here um also guys remember at 2k on here i will be doing a giveaway also remember tomorrow on my instagram dan does makeup xoxo i will be doing a giveaway because people are getting bored in quarantine and deciding to hate but you know any haters will not be entered if you don't follow me on instagram you will not be entered in further giveaways and you'll be disqualified also, guys, if you don't follow me on my social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Snapchat. My Snapchat has just hit 1k, so thank you for everyone who follow my Snapchat and, you know, supports me and everything. So, my Snapchat is Daniel Kelly 1202. My Twitter is NickyFan, hashtag 1. My TikTok is Lush underscore Life 0. And my Instagram is Dan Does Makeup XOXO. Also, guys, if you do want to see more of my videos, you can click, I think it'd be here um, or here to go to my page and see my videos and you can click this big red subscribe button to be subscribed to my channel of course you can also click that big bell icon to also get notified when i upload my next video okay guys thank you so so much for watching this video stay amazing stay beautiful stay safe during these times love you guys so so much Mwah.